You know, the Me Too movement has brought forward the topic of sexual assault and harassment. And now we're getting a better idea about just how big of an issue it is at our state capitol. A report just released today details the scope and seriousness of the problem. Denver 7's Mark Stewart is live downtown with more on these findings. Mark. Good afternoon and big picture. Most people who work at the state capitol say they feel comfortable showing up every morning to work. Still 30% say they have witnessed or even experienced sexual harassment themselves. That includes state representative Faith Winter. No longer can people turn a blind eye. In many ways, representative Faith Winter has been the face of sexual harassment in Colorado. Along with other women, her story led to the expulsion of fellow lawmaker Steve Lebsock. She finds validation in the sexual harassment report. The whole reason I came forward was never just about me. It was about our aides, our interns, our lobbyists, and really shining a light on this culture. And now the data backs me up. Among the findings, only 13% of cases were reported. There was concern about retaliation. And the reporting process needs to be professionalized and hence also centralized. Having a more judicious process about how to handle such complaints, having third parties do it. Despite division in the past, lawmakers from both sides of the aisle seem optimistic substantive changes can occur. It's not totally possible, but as much as possible that we can actually take the politics out of the policy. The biggest challenge is going to be when changing culture is hard. We can change laws in three days here. That's how long it takes to pass a law. But changing culture actually takes time. It takes hearts and minds. It takes awareness. It takes training. It takes education. But we're on the first step to doing that. So what's next in this process? Lawmakers need to look through this report. It's more than 200 pages. Many expressed optimism that they will get something done, some policy changes before the end of the session. Still, it is a very lofty goal, yet they also know the time to act is now with so much attention to sexual harassment and the Me Too movement. We're live at the state capitol tonight. Mark Stewart. Denver 7. All right, makes sense. Thank you, Mark. And last month, Democratic State Representative Steve Levsock from Thornton was expelled from the House over sexual assault allegations, first reported, as you saw, by Res Representative Faith Winter. And then just this past Monday, the House voted to expel Republican State Senator Randy Baumgartner over sexual assault allegations. However, that vote ended in a tie, so Baumgartner is keeping his position.